Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the basket weave stitch, which is a fun stitch to work. It is uh, worked using some front post and back post double crochet stitches. It has lots of great texture. You can see it here. Uh, it is a little bit of a yarn eater because it is a very dense pattern but it can work up into some beautiful blankets and household accessories so today we're going to learn how to crochet the basket weave stitch while you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you for watching so for our tutorial today for the basket weave stitch what you're going to do is going to grab your hook and your yarn i'm going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook and some bulky weight yarn here. And uh, we're going to start off making a starting chain with a multiple of six plus one. Okay, so we're going to start by making our slip knot. And for the tutorial today, I'm just going to make a simple chain of 19 stitches. and 19. So once you have your starting chain, the desired length, a multiple of six plus one, you're going to start by double crocheting in the fourth chain from your hook and then in each chain all the way across. So from your hook count in four, one, two, three, four, Place your first double crochet stitch and then double crochet in each chain all the way to the end. Once you come to the end of your row one, you will work a double crochet stitch in that final chain and you are going to chain two stitches and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin working some of that uh, texture, working those front post and back post double crochet stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip the first double crochet stitch. So that's the one that your chain two is worked out of. You're going to skip that stitch. And in the next three double crochet stitches, you're going to work one front post double crochet around each. So to work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over. You're going to bring your hook in front of your work and you're going to work around the post of the next stitch. So to do that, you're going to insert your hook around the post, so from right across the back, out through the left. You're going to yarn over and pull up a loop around that post. With three loops on your hook, you're going to simply complete that double crochet stitch. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. And what that's going to do is it's going to raise those two double crochet stitches. Okay, so you're going to do that two more times. One front post double crochet stitch around each of the next two stitches. So yarn over, working around the post of the next stitch, insert your hook from right around back and out through the left. Yarn over, draw up a loop around that post again. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two more. You're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, Around the post of the next stitch, insert your hook from right to left, yarn over, drop a loop around that post, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. You will now have worked one front post double crochet stitch around each of the next three stitches. You're going to continue on that row by now working three back post double crochet stitches. So where you worked on the front, from the front of your fabric, on the 
previous three stitches, we're now going to be working in the back. So you're going to yarn over, this is a double crochet stitch, you're going to bring your hook into the back of your fabric and working around the post of the uh, next stitch, you're going to insert your hook from the back up to the front, across the front of the post and out through the back again. I'll kind of turn my work so you can see it coming through there. You're then going to yarn over and drop a loop around the post of that next stitch. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and that's your back post double crochet. You're going to see it pushing the top of your stitch forward. We're going to do that two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook from the back to the front around the post, out through the back again, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two more. Do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook from the back to the front around the post of the next stitch, out through the back again, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. So if you take a look at your work thus far, you will now see that you have your one chain two, and then you will have three front post double crochet stitches, which kind of push the, pull these stitches up, and then you have three back post double crochet stitches that are just going to push the top forward and bring your stitches out through the back a little bit more. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So you're going to work three front post double crochet stitches followed by three back post. And you're going to repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. So next three uh, front post double crochet stitches, one in each of the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three front post double crochet stitches, followed by three back post double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that pattern all the way across to your very last chain, at which point you're going to work one double crochet stitch in the top of your turning chain. I'm just working my final stitch there in row two in the top of my turning chain. And at the end of row two, you're going to chain two and turn your work. So if you take a look at your work thus far, you will see that you already have that texture coming out. Take a look at the side you already did. You have your front post, your back post, front post, back post, all the way across and it's creating that fun basket weave texture. So we've turned our work. We're now going to work back across. You've chained two. So you're going to always skip that first double crochet stitch. And we're now going to work uh, one back post double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So row two you started with some front post, row three you're going to start with three back post double crochet stitches. So bring your hook in back, insert your hook around the post going from front and across and then out through the back again. Three back post double crochet stitches. followed by three front post double crochet stitches, one in each of the next three stitches. And you're going to again repeat that pattern all the way across. So three back post followed by three front post double crochet stitches all the way across. When you come back to your turning chain, you're going to work uh, one double crochet stitch in the top of that turning chain. I'll work these three and then I'll just pull back so you can see uh, the pattern coming through. 
So if you take a look, you can see these are your uh, front post double crochet stitches and your back post double crochet stitches pushing the tops of those forward. Continue that pattern all the way across. At the end of your row three, you're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. We're now going to work on row four and row four is a repeat of row three. So you're going to skip that first double crochet stitch and you're going to work one back post double crochet around each of the next three stitches. So we're going to switch up that pattern a little bit. So back post, double crochet stitch around each of the next three stitches. Next, you're going to work one front post double crochet stitches, double crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that pattern all the way across. One back post double crochet in each of the next three stitches, followed by one front post double crochet in each of the next three stitches. When you come back to your turning chain, you're going to double crochet in the top of that turning chain. At the end of row four, you're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. For row five, you're going to skip that first double crochet stitch and you're going to work one front post double crochet around each of the next three stitches. Next, you will work one back post double crochet around each of the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way across, one front post double crochet in each of the next three stitches, followed by one back post double crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that pattern all the way across the very end of your row. At the very end of your row, you're going to double crochet in your turning chain. Always remember to double crochet in your turning chain at the end, otherwise you won't have straight edges. The extra double crochet is gonna kind of provide you with an anchor there and keep your edges straight. At the end of row five, you're going to chain two and turn your work. You will now see that beautiful basket weave texture really coming through there. For row six, you're going to skip that first double crochet stitch and you're going to work one front post double crochet stitch around each of the next three stitches. So an easy way that I remember this is when I look at my work, I want each of my blocks, you can see that it kind of forms some blocks here, and I want each of my blocks to be two rows tall. So I'm going to see two ridges here. Of, from my back post double crochets where I've pushed the tops of those stitches forward and then once I see those two ridges I know in the next row I'm going to work a front post double crochet stitch. Okay so we're going to work a front post double crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches. Followed by a back post double crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. One front post double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Followed by a back post double crochet in each of the next three stitches. 
when you come to the end of your row, you're going to double crochet in the top of your turning chain and then chain two and turn your work. Now for the rest of this pattern, you are simply going to repeat rows three through to six. So after you chain two and turn your work, you're going to start off by working a back post double crochet in each of the next three stitches followed by your front post. And just repeat those rows three to six for the desired length of your pattern. And that's all there is to working this fun textured stitch called the basket weave. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Happy crocheting. Bye.